Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for February 13th of 2023 well, it is titled Comet ZTF and Mars. So what do we see here? Well, as mentioned in the title, we see Comet known as ZTF that we've been looking at over the last couple of months as it came in toward its closest approach to the inner solar system to both the sun in January and to the Earth just a week or so ago and now is heading back out into the outer solar system. We see the comet in the green there, the green glow being due to carbon atoms that are excited uh, by sunlight and caused to glow. Now the material of a comet is basically a, consists of a very small nucleus, maybe something just a couple of miles across. And therefore, uh, when it comes in close to the sun, because it has icy material, much of that will be vaporized. And that will actually make the comet visible when you have this large halo of material around it. The comet itself would otherwise be invisible to us. It's very small and even at close distances would not stand out that just that nucleus. It's when we make it much larger because of this great halo of material around it energized by the sun that we can actually see comets in the sky. Now here we see the comet along with two tails, one tail going straight back that is the ion tail consisting of smaller particles, individual atoms, and the heavier particles, dustier particles, larger molecules are then are swept back away from the sun. So in its orbit, they're left both are both pushed back by the sun, the lighter particles go straight back, the others lag a little bit behind it in its orbit. So from this, we know that the comet is moving from right to left here, leaving the material behind in its orbit. And we also know that the sun is down below the horizon there. And you can trace out the direction by following the opposite direction of the tail. Now the other object we see there, the bright object, is the planet Mars. That is uh, one of the uh, one of the eight planets in the solar system, and is in many ways the most Earth-like planet, in that it has a surface that we have actually landed on and explored in great detail. And it is one where we could also send humans at some point in the future. Other planets would be very difficult or impossible to actually send humans to land on them. Mars is one that is quite possible to be able to visit and explore in the future. So we see Mars there glowing brightly now in the, in the sky and will still be visible for the next couple of months. Whereas the comet is beginning to fade, you do need binoculars or a telescope to see it as it heads out into the outer solar system. So that was our picture of the day for February 13th of 2023. It was titled Comet ZTF and Mars. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be heart and soul. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.